So this is a follow-up video to the video that I showed you yesterday. Uh, I created this Warthog Defense Was Banned video, and this is on their Facebook Warthog Defense page, okay? So uh, they have validated that I'm not just making this up. Now, I'm going to show you how to contact Twitter in their defense to hopefully have them look at this again. But I want to give you some background here about what Warthog was. Now, Warthog and I do very different things. I'm not in that military information space lane. I usually spend time with uh, countering Russian trolls and uh, dealing with Russian disinformation and American repeaters who are spreading disinformation. That's kind of the lane where I am, generally speaking. Uh, but so my spidey senses got involved here when I started seeing this and good people can disagree. Maybe people think that this wasn't a thing. Maybe it was a thing. I just, something doesn't seem right to me. This is a Warthog defense video that's on Rumble. He's also on Rumble as well, just doesn't spend much time there, just duplicates videos there. So this is the kind of video that he would have possible projected. assault, the intelligence report added. The UK Defense Ministry also detailed a major movement of Russian troops, tanks and support vehicles into the southern region. Long convoys of Russian military trucks, tanks, towed artillery and other weapons continue to move away from... Okay, so he doesn't show his face like reporting from Ukraine doesn't, just like Perun doesn't, uh, and he adds value to the conversation. And so because he's a valuable um, YouTube uh, Ukraine supporter, I, I'm feeling like maybe this was a test case. So, and I don't know that. I, I, I'm just, this is what my gut is telling me. So I could be wrong. I, I, I'm telling you up front. Okay. But here's why I think I'm not wrong. Something is just weird about this. Like people will say, well, you know, he did show military videos. Maybe it was because it was violent that it was demonetized. That wasn't the reason. On December 13th, he said, this is a text. That, so I, I invited him to come and do a video with me. He didn't want to show his face. So I said, well, put it into a text. I'll talk about it. I did that in the last video. Now, on December 13th, I received this famous email from YouTube informing me that my channel had been deleted because I was imitating someone. And then I showed you what imita uh, impersonation policy was and impersonation like you're trying to pretend that you're somebody that you're not. That's all it is. That, that's what that means. And that's not what he was doing. So that's part one that seems weird. Um, so I immediately filed a complaint with YouTube, but then I experienced another juice. Now in a second email, they did not comment at all on the absurd claim that I was imitating someone, but they just decided to leave my channel deleted. But now the reasoning was that I was spreading misinformation. And this one is the one that's really getting my goat. Okay. So if he's spreading min misinformation, what does that mean? What's the misinformation policy look like? Well, here it is on YouTube. Certain types of misleading or deceptive content with serious risk of egregious harm are not allowed on YouTube. Okay, that makes sense. This includes certain type of misinformation that can cause real world harm. Like what if he's showing a video about what's, you know, tanks going through in, in, uh, in Ukraine. If you're posting content, don't post content on YouTube that fits any of the descriptions below. Suppression of census participation. Nope, he wasn't doing that. Had nothing to do with the census. Manipulated content. Content that has been technically manipulated or doctored in a way that misleads users and may pose a risk of serious or egregious harm. I don't see that either. Misattributed content, content that may pose a risk of serious egregious harm by falsely claiming that old footage from past events is from a current event. That doesn't seem like it either. Like there might be some stock footage, but there's also stock footage that's used on the news, but he's talking about facts that are going on on the ground now. So something seems off about that as well. And that's again why I have the suspicion that there may be some trolls behind reporting on him to get him kicked off. And for, frankly, I feel like this is a test case. Again, I could be wrong, but if it's a test case and they can get rid of him, certainly they can get rid of others who are also pro-Ukraine. And the Russian trolls, they this is an industry for them. This is like what they do. All you need is somebody assigned to say, um, hey, all you, you need to keep lighting up this particular channel about, and something very bad could happen. So again, I don't have the proof, and I'm telling you up front, I don't have proof that that's the case. But I think we do need to do something about that to explain to YouTube what's going on. So if you're looking at how to, you know, talk to, talk to YouTube, YouTube doesn't make it easy for you to communicate with them. So 
when I was looking at this, how to contact YouTube about channel removed. If your channel was terminated due to copyright infringement claims, and there wasn't a copyright infringement claim. Now, there was somebody on Daily Coast some time ago that posted an article saying, hey, Warthog had used my entire script. They did then remove it. So, you know, maybe they didn't get it or something, but you shouldn't do that. And they removed it, right? So I don't think that's what's going on. I don't think it's the violence. The, the charge was impersonation, and that doesn't make any sense. And then the second charge was misinformation, and that doesn't fit either. But they don't, again, YouTube doesn't make it easy for you to be able to uh, contact them. But they say, if your channel was terminated, fire, file a counterclaim. That's, that's not what we're talking about. So what I'm looking for is for how we can actually contact YouTube. Now we're working back channels. Somebody contacted me and said, there's somebody on that they know at YouTube. How do we get in touch with this guy? So I connected the dots and behind the scenes, somebody was contacting a congressman. Um, here's how to contact YouTube on Twitter. And this is what I want you to understand here. Uh, if you go to Twitter and you you go to at team YouTube, you can have a part in expressing to YouTube that, you know, maybe they, somebody should be looking into Warthog and who was reporting and whatever. Remember these kinds of things have happened before. Um, and, and I'm not, I'm usually a pretty optimistic guy, but I'm also, I've spent enough time on in Russian media and dealing with trolls that I'm suspicious. OK, so uh, what happened to Johnny Pierce not too long ago? What happened to Paul from Combat Veteran Reacts? I, I'm, I'm just nervous that something bad might be happening. So you go to at Team YouTube and then you go to uh, here on Twitter. I, I already crafted a statement and you don't have to use this statement. This is just what I think would be be useful. Okay. At team YouTube, we have reason to suspect that Warthog defense at Warthog production. That was their, uh, their handle on YouTube at Warthog production, uh, was removed by YouTube because Russian trolls were trying to shut it down. Again, I, I have reason to suspect it. I don't know that for a fact. Please review this decision. Thank you. Now I'm being polite because yelling at them is probably not, you, you win more friends with honey than with vinegar. So I try to be polite with this, not just curse them. Like I saw a lot of you in the, uh, in the comments to the first video, like, how can they do this? And okay, look, just let's try to be part of the solution here. So this is what I'm saying. We have reason to suspect, please. Thank you. Look into it. And I'm going to post it now on my Twitter and we'll see what happens from there. So if that's helpful to you, I, I hope that that will help you have some kind of impact. I think Warthog should be restored. And again, it's not like even my kind of category, but if they can do this to them, they can do this to us. It's just like in Ukraine, like the fights in Ukraine, but the fights about freedom, I think that's that's how I'm processing it. Other people may process it differently and that's okay. But if you want to have a part, this is what you do. Again, go to at team YouTube and let them know what you think. All right. That's what I wanted to share with you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the likes and the shares and the subscribes. And thank you for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine.